Ladies and gentlemen, dear participant, the African Institute for Economic Development and Planning is pleased to offer you a second course on natural resource governance issues. The first one was about the fundamentals of natural resource governance in West Africa, but this one is focusing on advocacy and campaigning for gender mainstreaming and artisanal small scale mining in natural resource governance. So I'm pleased to share with you the overview of the course once again. Globally, there is a strong momentum for intervention focused on gender equality and women economic empowerment in the world, including the Sustainable Development Goals call for achievement of gender equality and empowerment for all women and girls. And it is clearly estimated that inequality is coaching, costing the global economy too much. So for guidance, practical application and action is therefore needed by every stakeholder so that we can support governments, industry, and civil society to achieve gender equality. So as you know, women constitute half of every community in the world and in which mining operations are taking place. But this sector is really, and is still very masculine. And many of those employed in the sector, for example, women are just holding auxiliary jobs or undermine jobs. So although the sector is or can benefit to women and men in affected communities, but we have to note that the impacts of the operations on their livelihood, on their social and cultural context and physical integrity and well-being are really getting damaged. Overall, so the impact to gender and mining or mining and gender is really complex and requires a systemic approach to understanding so that we can understand the major challenges the industry are associated especially with gender equality. So the objective of this course is to build the capacity of much more non-states stakeholders, but even for state stakeholders, so that they can understand more how extractive activities or operations are affecting women differently and how those stakeholders can foster effective gender mainstreaming in the artisanal and the small scale mining sector. So the course will focus on contextual data. That means experiences that are very well documented, policies and legal framework that exists in particular in West Africa, but beyond in the continent as well. So the objective for that is to provide the stakeholders with the technical advocacy and campaigning tools so that they can consolidate their engagements. So what will you receive throughout this course? The course is organized into um, four models first. And each model is focusing on a specific topic. But the course is compiling research from leading institutions like ID, IDF, Oxfam, Publisher to Pay, other women organizations within the continent as well, governments as well, because some intergovernmental organizations or governments have developed strong policies to foster gender equality, especially in the mining sector. So the course will focus mainly on the impacts of the mining communities, but in particular on women, whether it's employment, whether it's their health, whether it's their social norms and traditions as well. So the approach is just to run over a period of four weeks and the, the last week, the fifth one, will be dedicated to some assessment and evaluation because participants will expect a kind of certificate when they complete this course. Extension may be granted upon request in case we do not manage to complete all the four models within the four weeks. But yeah, let's go now for a period of four weeks 
and the last one will be dedicated to the assessment, to the assignment you will be having. The course will be moderated on a daily basis because we have a forum where we can have online discussions, but really live discussions as well. And the lessons are designed in a way that learners are able to self-assess their understanding. But at the very beginning of this course, we'll share with you a kind of baseline test. It's just for us to understand what your level of understanding is at the beginning and why we complete the course. We'll try to see whether your understanding is matching with the objectives or the expected result of this course. We'll share with you additional resources so that you can deepen your understanding. So those bibliographies with web links that you can use to access to more information. The course will be delivered in both languages in English and French. So through your network, please share the information to anyone who is interested to understand more gender issues in the extractive sector. I will be facilitating the discussion within this course with another assistant who will be joining the course time by time so that we can provide you with the necessary information you may need. And we'll come also with a strong comparative insight. So it's where we expect the contribution of you guys, participant, please share experiences from your countries, from your communities, from your learning, from your reading as well, so that it becomes a kind of knowledge building and experience sharing among all of us. As I mentioned, you will get a certificate of completion issued either when you succeed by completing all the course assessments. So the audience of this course includes civic society and local community activities, activists, media actors, academia, women rights organization and youth groups, government officials as well and members of parliament because these are the targets for our advocacy. So as I told you, the course is organized into four models. Number one it is dedicated to the gender impacts of mining and ASM operations. The second one is devoted to the evaluation of the impact of mining on women. There are several strategies, methodologies on how to evaluate the impact of mining on women. The third one is looking at the policies and the practices that exist around the region but beyond, which are really gender sensitive. And finally, we'll see what women are calling for, what women organization, what the stakeholders are advocating for. It's important to understand that so that we can take some actions. So model one, gender impact of mining and ASM operations. Model two, how to evaluate the impact of mining on women. And model three, policies and practice to foster gender equality in the extractive sector. And finally, the advocacy and campaigning for women means to advance women's rights in the mining sector. What we'll be advocating for and what are the key policy asks of women organizations in the extractive sector. At the end of the course, you have a list of references or reading list. We've provided only those that are easy access with web links. So whenever you click on the link, or you copy and paste it on your browser, please go ahead. You see huge information on the topics we have exchanged with you during the course. So these are the initial things I wanted to share with you. And I look forward to interacting with you within these four to five weeks. I look forward to share with you much more during the two live sessions where we'll be discussing gender-based violence. And the second one is about the participation of women in the decision-making process. So make this yours. Come with your questions, comments, and share your experiences. Thank you so much.